Today we're looking at ticket number 13389 and it's a John Deere tractor PCB. I haven't seen one of these before but this is what it looks like. The job that needs doing looks a little bit tedious but definitely repairable. The customer and I have agreed on a price regardless as we're not going to be able to test the board here. So let's take it underneath the scope and see if we can get it fixed. Well Joe you haven't really told us what's wrong with it. So you see this connector here. We have ripped ground here, ripped ground here, actually ripped ground on the other side. Oh and one major thing the connector just comes off the board. These two pins are soldered and they're soldered okay, so they don't necessarily need to be changed. What I would like to do, however, is just put some fresh leather solder to secure these a little bit better. Our main issues is that we have two ripped ground pads either side. We have a ground pad ripped here. Just here is actually, I think, a positive uh, voltage rail. Now, as you can see, it is the tight, well, you might not be able to see, it's the tiniest via available. Being as zoomed in as I am, you can see we have the tiniest bit of copper exposing that trace. And how do I know that's the case? Because I definitely don't have any schematics. I have the plug here and this red wire, which is on the top left of your screen now, is where that goes to. So if I put the connector on and then plug the wire in on top of that, as you can see, we've got the red one top left, which is most probably going to be power. We've got this white one, which probably signifies a data line. And then we've actually got two negative on the right so these will just be ground the only real tedious thing is going to be this via here ground shouldn't be an issue we can use copper braid here we can just peel off some of the solder mask here copper braid and the same here copper braid so we should be able to get a good anchor on this connector this trace that runs here and kind of disconnects here actually goes past to this via and i have checked continuity to make sure that we have a path going and there's no breaks in the line from this point down to this point and it's A-OK. -okay. I do wonder actually this via, if it goes through all the way to the other side of the board, whether we can maybe wrap something round and make this a little bit stronger rather than just using this small via here. Being honest with you, I think that via goes to here, <laughs> which isn't ideal. So we can't really route it around. We can maybe go from this pad, which is a little bit bigger, but I don't think that's gonna be too much of a difference. Checking continuity mode, yeah, so th those are connected. Is that connected with that? Oh, okay, so it does run to this cap as well. Okay, so there's a continuous path to this cap, which might be the more secure place to go from. If we can just put enameled wire and then route the cable all the way around the board, I'll see how much of the solder I can actually get from the wire itself. If I just measure this in diode mode from a point of ground, what reading do we get? 0 0.6, yeah, so we get 0 0.7 voltage drop. Just giving the area a quick clean because there's one thing we wanna do first. I need to get rid of that. There's a little bit of solder that we see here that needs to come off. Just wick that up. Just to ensure that we don't get any interference from this, because what I'm gonna have to do is build a pad or build some wire here for the actual connection to the plug. But I don't want the ground here or this trace, in fact, interfering with this. So I'm gonna have to just put some formal coating over these bare areas that are ground so that doesn't happen. So I'm gonna do that first. Rotate the borders, there's a big plastic connector right next to it, which makes it a little bit more awkward. There we go, that looks a bit better, hey? More protected at least, cure that quickly. There we go, that looks a little bit more secure, good stuff. Is that too big? Yeah. How's that? Perfect. Just gonna put some flux here and tin the area. And then put this exactly where it needs to go. Nice, and that will be solid for us to connect the connector to. Same rules apply, except for we're scratching our way the ground here. And this side as well. Looking good, same principles, tin it. To be honest with you, I'd I don't think this one's going to be big enough, so I might need to get that out of here. These are going to be nice, strong, thick pads.
So let's be careful of that via there. There we go. Looking good so far, I think. Just to make sure we don't have any oopsies here. Rather be safe than sorry. Now we're going to zoom into this little via here, see if we can get some solder on it. Like I said, worst case, we'll just reroute from the cap on the back. Okay, got a little bit. Is the wire going to be secure enough, though? That's the question. Now to try and come around from this way, which is going to be tough. That looks pretty secure to me, you know. I don't think that's going to go anywhere. Now again, I need to make sure this wire is going to be strong enough. So I'm going to bend it a few ways. Because I want to try and make this trace as thick as possible. And if the wire can withstand that, I think we're good. For anyone wondering, I'm using two sets of tweezers here. These ones are ridiculously bent on the end. Which is not helping the situation, if I'm honest. That's why it's important to have good tools in situations like this. I might need to open a new pack of tweezers. Now I've got two iron easies. Look at these. Should make my life a little bit easier. There we go. That'll be enough. Good. And now if we just cut about there. There we go. Loosen up this flux a little bit. And the reason I'm doing that is because I need to apply some more conformal coating. So I'm just going to dab my cotton swab here to get rid of that flux. Be very, very gentle. It's be super delicate here. Notice how I'm dabbing and not wiping at all. Tiny bit more conformal coating just here, just to try and give this a tiny bit more strength. Okay. All right, that's dry as well now, so this is looking good. Don't want to try and mess around with this too much. I'm just trying to get it a little bit more centered. Now what we need to do is tin this wire, which, thinking about it, should have been something that I'd done before I put it onto the board, but it is what it is. Deal with the consequences now. There we go. Nice. Really, really good. So our board is pretty much prepped for actually putting the connector on now. Zoom out a little bit so we get a bit of a better picture. A better picture of the bigger picture. Place the connector down and just make sure that everything lines up as it should, which it looks like it does. Lovely. That wire down there with that pin as well. Now all we need to do is just fasten the connections. So we put a little bit of flux in the areas that we need to. Just help with that solder to flow. Start on the ground, make sure our connector is nice and solid. Pushing down on the plastic. And already, that's not going anywhere. These two at the back, again, they have a pretty solid connection already, but just applying that leaded. And then finally, these two at the front. There it goes, perfect. And just here as well. Try and get a bit more solder on this one. There we go. Okay, connector is also pushed right down to the board. You can see that we have little remnants of glue left on it, but that's fine. Gonna clean up where we can, but that should be all good. One final little clean with the brush. I'll try and move it. It's not going anywhere. And then we quickly measure in diode mode, which go onto ground, which is on this side. Now this one, because the board is flipped now, this should be the positive pin. So we should be reading 0 0.7, which we are. We get 0 0.7 voltage drop here. And this should be a data line. And we get 0 0.74 in diode mode. This should be ground which it is, and this should also be ground. Good. So we don't have any of these touching. There's no continuous path between them. So this should be all good. That connector is now all solid and fixed for another, hopefully, happy customer. I'll speak to the customer and make sure that everything works, and you'll see a pinned comment on this video as soon as they reply, letting us know. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.